woman in me official. Welcome to the real woman in me. I don't know how you see it. I don't know how you want it. I don't know how you were told. But let me tell you that the one that instituted the marriage, his name is God. He said, Adam, I'm giving you the garden. Dress it and keep it. So in every marriage, you need to dress it and keep it. It means that the marriage is there for you. So beautiful. Yes, God bless you. Good evening, good evening. My name is Lady Reverend Mrs. Charlotte Odo. And as we do it every Monday, we come to share, we come to learn, we come to build our lives together. And I'm grateful you are joining me this evening. Remember, we are streaming live on Facebook, The Real Woman in Me Official. You go to my YouTube, Reverend Dr. Charlotte Odo, get a devotion every morning, and let's do it together. Instagram, The Real Woman in Me underscore. God bless you. And I thank God for always making time with me for us to learn, study, and build ourselves together. Today, and there's something I saw in Genesis 39 from the verse 1 going. Joseph was bought as a slave. But because of the favor and the grace of God upon his life, he found favor before his master. And the master realized that since the boy entered into his home, everything is flourishing. And therefore, the master gave him the authority to rule everything he had. But one thing the master never gave him authority was the wife. But not knowing because Joseph was looking handsome and very good and attractive, the master's wife wanted to have him sleep with him. One day, Joseph got opportunity to sleep with the master's wife. But he said, no, I won't do it. For who am I to get favor in the face of a man that doesn't know me? has given authority over everything except you, the wife. And I will not even sin against the God I say. I am content with what I have. I don't take what doesn't belong to me. You are somebody's wife. I have no right to take you. You see, many people meet opportunities by picking people's husband, people's fiancé, people's wife, because this is a great dog for you. If you don't sleep with me, I won't give you that chance. Listen, let them understand. If it takes sleeping with you alone to open this door, I'd rather stay at the back of the door. Wait until God opens my door for me. If my door has not opened yet, I'm not in a rush. If my door has opened and I need to sleep with somebody before I enter that door, then this door is not from God. Joseph prevented everything, ran away, even he was in prison, all because of sex. If I were you, we would have given in because this is a great opportunity that our own master's wife has opened this door for us to sleep with her. Then I'm going to rule everything. Please, what is not yours, don't take it. What doesn't belong to you, don't go for it. Because if you take what doesn't belong to you, it becomes a curse to your generation. That is why sometimes when I see young people, when I see young men who are not ready to work things out in their life, who are not ready to put something on their, you have a destiny, have, have a goal, have a determination on a positive goal, but not trying to step on people to get what they want in life without caring how many people are going to be hurt. You are happy at taking somebody's husband and you, are, you got the gas to call the wife and tell the wife, I'm taking over. There are other women who go to shrines just to pick people's husband. There are other women who go every land just to get pregnant for somebody's husband. In the name of the wife couldn't do what she must do and you are taking over. Hello? Are you sure? There are doors that look so attractive. But please, if that door is not for you, don't enter because it can lead you to death. Even though Joseph was in prison, he never gave up. He never regretted the decision he took. He was rather happy that he needed to go to prison for something that is good. You know, sometimes we don't want to go through the stress. We don't want to go through the pain. We don't want to go through the, 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 the struggles in life. We want to have everything easy. You are aware the man you are sleeping with is somebody's husband. You are aware the wife is dying inside. The children are suffering because of you being in the life of that man. You don't care. You go to every land. You have you concussion to cook for the man. Concussion on your face when he sleeps with you. He's stuck on you. And there are men outside there who are too vulnerable because they don't have prayerful women. Listen, if somebody wants to take what belongs to you, don't fight physically, fight spiritually 
and physically get the patient to wait. Don't be in a rush because at the right time, the Lord will open the door. There are some things you, you can exercise yourself in because there are things that can destroy your future tomorrow. You may be okay today. You may be swimming in that door that has opened. Oh, mommy, uh, yes, I, I slept with the man. I've got a house. I've got a car. I've got, oh, it's okay. Enjoy it whilst it lasts because the curse that comes with it, the, the painful aspect is your generation is always affected. Please, this world is not your own. You cannot rule forever. Let me tell you this. Today, you are the one on top. You are the one in town. You don't respect anybody. You do what you want to do. You don't even believe in the thing called Christianity. You don't believe in anything. Yes, there's hypocrisy in the church. Yes, there are people that judge people. Yes, when you go to the church, there's a lot of things happening. But still, the church is still the church of God. Said, I will build my church and the gate of hell will never prevail against it. It doesn't matter the mistakes. It doesn't matter what is happening. It doesn't matter how people, how, how, how great the mighty men have fallen. And there's something I read in 2 Samuel chapter 1 going. David mourned and his people mourned. Then David came back and said, what are you saying? How did Saul die? Because he's the anointed. How did he die? He said, when I met Saul, Saul cried and called on me and said, who are you? And I mentioned my name. He said, help me because I'm at the state of dying. Though I'm not dead now, but where I am and how I feel, I'm going to die. Take my sword and slay me. Kill me and let me go. And then the guy did it. And then he thought he has done a good job because that is what Saul wanted him to do. But he never knew that the one that is anointed, you dare not touch the person. Then David asks the, 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 the stranger, how dare you? Are you not afraid to look at the anointed one to slay? Are, are you not afraid to touch somebody's husband? Are you not afraid to go to shrines, go to other places, take somebody's position? Your friend introduced the boyfriend to he. Tr your friend trusted you. She trusted you with everything. You were like a sister to your friend. One day she introduced you to the, the, the fiancé. They are soon to get married. And all of a sudden, you called at her back and went on lie against her. And because the man too has a small mind, is not too mature, doesn't know how to weigh the truth and the lie. It, because the man too never trusted the lady, he was able to follow you by the things you said. And now you have married your friend's fiancé. He's your husband. Enjoy it whilst it lasts because it will never last. Your dreams of taking people's things will never last. Mark it anywhere. Because what doesn't belong to you, don't take it. Don't, don't use anything to take it. Wait for your own. Wait for your time. Wait for your own appointed time. That the door will begin to open for you. If the door has not opened, don't be in a rush to open it yourself. There are many people who are crushed down because of a young girl that went to meet the husband. Because of a young girl that saw the man and saw that, oh, this is, this, is a, this is a big lottery. Let me also find a way to get somebody's husband. You are proud. You are so proud to be in the church. And then you are sleeping with the man of God whilst you know he has got a wife. You are proud to boast it around. You are proud to stand in front of your woman of God. And, and because the husband has, has, has made that look cheap to you, you've got the gas to insult and more treat and give an attitude because you are the one sleeping with the boss hey be careful for i'm scared because what is not yours shouldn't be enjoyed by you what is not yours will never be permanent in your hands what is not yours can never be yours it is for somebody the owner has got the right over it. It is better to be happy for somebody when God blesses them and pray for your own to come. But don't have a negative man. Somebody is so against you to the standard. Oh, I know that one. And if, 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 if you are given opportunity to go there, there's somebody who will go behind your back to go and destroy you. The people who back, back against people. Oh, I will not allow you to give you to this one. My dear, you are not God. You can take that opportunity from the lady today or from that man today because you have got the power today to to take that opportunity but you can't take it forever because what what must happen will happen so i see some young girls and i see people and they are crying mommy somebody is taking my marriage and i see women with their children crying mommy if even i've done a mistake i want to beg my husband because nobody's perfect but my husband has gone to stay with this woman and this woman is not giving my, my husband a chance to even see his own children i keep on asking them do we have a heart 
Women, some of the women, do we have a heart? Some of the men, do we have a heart? You treat somebody that bad. You pick some somebody that has suffered with somebody for years. You come within a minute and you want to take it. You think you deserve it more than those who have suffered with the person? Do you think so? Hey, that position you are taking, is it yours? David said, well, how dare you look at this man, the anointed one of God, anointed by God. How dare you look at his face and slay him for what you have done. I, David, will not touch you because if I touch you, I have, I have co contacted curse because you are cursed by touching the anointed one. I will let my soldiers destroy you. Uh, I got the chance to kill Saul, but I will never touch the one that has been anointed. Saul plotted evil against David. Even when he was playing the instrument for the demons to get out of David. And even when he was playing it, so had, had had things to kill him. He saw all that, but he escaped. In every situation, David never gave up when Saul called him. Because he respected him as an anointed one. He can't take the place of Saul. Though he has been anointed as a king, he could have other people to kill Saul because his time has been rejected. But David said, no, though I've been anointed, I'm not going to take over the seat that doesn't belong to me. When my seat and my right time comes, I will sit on the seat. Hey, how many of us are always in a rush to take places that doesn't belong to us? So plotted to kill David, but David always escaped. When David got a chance to kill Saul, David never touched him. He just cut a little cloth for him to know that I got the chance to kill you, but I will never touch the one that has been anointed by God. You see, we need to be careful. It's not today you are too anointed. They are men of God. They are women. They are people of God. They are children. They are men. They are women. That they were nothing and through somebody, through their fathers, whoever they are, they met somebody and through the person, they got a higher position. Today, you are higher than the one that helped you. And so, therefore, you look down upon the person that gave you a ladder to rise up. Let's be careful. Maybe you are up, but let me tell you, a father's seat will always be a father's seat. Maybe you are up, a mother's seat will always be a mother's seat. Maybe you are up, but the seat of a wife can never be yours. You can be the second, third wife. You think you've taken over, you will regret because that seat is somebody's seat. Don't take what doesn't belong to you. Be content with what you have. Serve with respect, with honor. Joseph said, I will not take what is not mine. I will not enjoy what I don't deserve. How can I take my boss's wife? How can I go and then destroy my own papa, my own boss, my own mommy? Have you forgotten the one that gave you that place? Have you forgotten the one that gave you a cup of water? We need to be careful how we deal with anointed. If somebody's marriage is being blessed, be careful how you snatch the wife or snatch the husband from the wife. Be careful because it is today you are enjoying. I'm scared of your tomorrow. Life. Be appreciative with what you have. Learn to say, if even I don't have, I don't have everything. If I don't have it, I don't care. If I don't have the money, if I don't have everything, I don't care. All I care is that I'm okay. Are you okay? Are you ready? Are you ready to stand and say, I'm going to let it go because this is not mine. This is not mine. So I won't take it. You know, because somebody wants to get a favor somewhere, we'll have to go and destroy somebody to take, to take it to the person's place. Okay? You can take the place today. You can enjoy the place today. But bear it in mind that it's not yours. And you pay for it. Let's learn this. Let's understand this, that this life, whatever we sow, we will definitely reap. So that enjoyment, that, that, that man that you sleep with, you enjoy, and you think that is the well, that is the end of it. It's today everything is okay, but I'm scared of tomorrow what it will bring. There are ladies when I see, there are men that I see, and I wonder if they are thinking, you are happy? You are happy your wife is crying. You are happy. You are cheating. You are happy. You are happy that this small girl is the one controlling you whilst your wife doesn't have a right over your life. Your children are suffering. Your wife is suffering. 
and you don't care. You have given a place that belongs to your wife, to a small girl that doesn't have any kind of respect for the wife. I am scared for tomorrow. What is not yours, don't take it. Your own will come. We are serving everybody. Sometimes I want to pray for people. Sometimes I want to, I want to tell them that it's not what you get today that matters. But what your life will be tomorrow is what matters. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm dating this big man. Yes, this big man, I'm connected. If you do, I will imprison you. You can imprison people because they are telling you the truth. But you don't know that you are already in prison all of your life. What is it that you want that you cannot pray, work hard to get it? Young girls, they are listening to me. Please. If you play your cards well, if you are dedicated to God, if you work with God, if you are able to serve and be humble, if you are able to humble and wait and not be in a rush, if you know when to wait and when to move, your life will never be the same. The guy that brought the news to David was slain. He was also killed because he has touched the anointed one. You think the anointed one has fallen there. When you read 2 Samuel chapter 1 going, I think the verse 16, he said that, how, I think 17, 19, he said how, how the mighty has fallen. If somebody falls today, be careful how you talk about them. If somebody has lost their marriage, the church always knows how to judge. Most of the churches are judging because of what they've heard. Oh, she has lost her marriage. The wife has, the wife have left her and all that. Sister, if you hear people's story, please don't judge them. Pray for them. If a sister has moved out of a marriage, celebrate with her because you don't know what, what she has gone through. Until you know somebody's story, don't judge anybody. Because you are not better than anybody. We are not better. It's by grace that we are still moving on. Don't take what is not yours. You have taken somebody's seat you are enjoying. You are driving somebody's car, somebody's favor, you are driving in it. Somebody can go to the shrine and say, I want my friend's favor so that I can get the things that I need to get to life. Yes, you can take it, but it can never be yours forever. Surely at the right time, it will be given to the owner. One thing I love is prayer and wait. I don't mind waiting. What about you? Do, do you mind waiting? A man comes to you, you know he's married. He said, no. Even when you don't know, you get to know. He said, no, I don't mind waiting for God. I'd rather wait than to take what is not mine. I don't mind waiting if the position has not been given to me. If I've been here for years and waiting for promotion, it's not coming. I will not go to any shrine to kill anybody for position. I don't mind waiting. If it will take me 30 years before I can be promoted, I will still wait upon God. Waiting will not destroy me, but my waiting will build me up. I don't mind waiting upon God. I don't mind waiting to serve under, under my master, serve under my master. They don't, no matter what people say. You see, if Elisha has listened to the people, all the prophets, he would have left the blessing that was supposed to be given to him. Elijah said, Elisha, go because where I'm going to, I don't want to go with you. The other prophet that knows too much, they took out, they, 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 they separated themselves from Elijah because they don't care, they don't want to wait. They are prophets, they can see, they can prophesy. Listen, if God opens your eyes today, it doesn't mean you are better than your papa. You are not. You are not better than the one that trained you. You are not better than your mother or your father. Fathers are fathers. Mothers are mothers. You can also become a father and a, or a mother. It depends on how you have said. I don't mind waiting to take somebody's thing. I would rather wait in my pain. I would rather wait in my sorrow than to take what doesn't belong to me because the curse that comes with it, I can't carry it. I don't mind waiting upon God. Maybe I'm going through pain now because people are mocking at me. When are you going to get married? You're aging. You look at your younger people, they're getting married. Yes, let them marry. I'm not going to sleep with somebody's husband to have a baby. Neither will I sleep with just somebody's boyfriend because I am aging and I want to get pregnant and give birth. No, I won't do it. I don't mind waiting upon God because I will check what doesn't belong to me. If I wait upon God at the right time, He will give me what belongs to me. I don't mind waiting. I don't care what people say. I don't care 
are people who call me a fool, they will mock at me. What am I looking for? If everything is about Jesus, I, I want to give him a room, me and him alone. I want to give him a space. I want to be with him alone. I want to hear him and him alone. I don't want to look at what I don't have and the things I've not got. But I want to look at the things that I can get with him if I wait upon him. They that wait upon God. He will renew your strength. I want to be renewed by God and not renewed by men. Men renew what is a distraction and, and it will destroy you for tomorrow. I don't mind waiting. I don't know about you. I know you are aging. You need to have a baby. Doctors are saying a lot of things. Listen, brother, listen. No matter what the doctors will say, no matter what people will say, wait upon God. Don't take what doesn't belong to you. Don't use, because of that, you sleep with somebody's husband to have a baby. You may have the baby. You may have the opportunity to sleep with somebody's husband. You may have a place to be a second or third wife. But listen, it is not yours. The owner is there. What are you in a rush for? Because you want to please people. Because you also want to get what people are getting. I don't mind waiting. Do you mind waiting? Joseph said, I will not sleep with this woman. I don't care. I don't care the favor I carry. I don't care what I know. I don't care the people I can be connected. Yes, I can see. Yes, I can prophesy. Yes, I can preach. I can do miracles. But I'm not going to leave because people think I should leave my papa or leave my mama and then have my own. Have what own? I don't have anything. I am Christ's own. I am the body of Christ. I stand for Christ. I don't mind waiting. I want to wait under the feet of my papa, under the feet of my mama. I'm not leaving my marriage because I met a man who is better than my husband. Oh, you think so? You met a man and you think he's better than your husband. And therefore you think your husband is a nobody. So you insult him. You have left the marriage. You moved out. Somebody says, I've seen a dream. My husband is my demon. You married for 12 years. He has not beaten you. He has not cheated on you. He has not given you any threats. And you want to leave because you met a man that you think is better than your husband. Listen, be careful. Be careful. For it's not every man that is yours. If you have your own, cherish what you have value it. Men, listen to me. The woman you are rejecting today because you think you've met another woman who is too beautiful than your wife. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful the step you are taking. Value what you have. Value the wife you have. Cherish her. Move on with her. Build your life together with her. Don't allow what is not yours. Be flashing in front of your face. Don't go in for things that doesn't belong to you. That woman is not yours. She's somebody else. You have your own. Enjoy your own. I don't mind waiting. Do you mind waiting? Do you want to wait? Do you care waiting? I don't know about you. But I want you to know this. It doesn't matter what happens. It doesn't matter what people say. Hold on. Don't listen to the voices. Listen to only God. It may not be easy. And it's worth it. Remember, we are streaming live on Facebook, The Real Woman in Me Official. Go to my YouTube, Reverend Dr. Charlotte Joe. Subscribe and let's do it together. You go to my Instagram, The Real Woman in Me underscore. And just follow me, like me, and let's do it together. I'll be back after the break. God oh, bless you. Fridays of peaceful elections for Ghana every year. Zawusha, Afibia, Yabatu Afeno, Kanko and Shia, Yarebon in and Tokwan from Mabo, Amenipa Shreninqua, Nanso, Afia Batu or Ghana, Yam Pemuja, Yashokwa Yaman, your cool binum open in forty Ghana, Namswa, a Christopher, Yen to me for Yanqua, and he a dark chin showons. Yet here, Jinana Jumuni in our bompa yet here to me, Moja Comdeno, a pie for who Dian and Kosua, I'm a sixteen regions are a Wagan in our Fridays of peaceful election for. 
Ghana Pai Boy. Esha see Friday, 9th October. Eko see Friday, 25th December. Awa Asempa 94.7 FM. So, and I just do me a new copy on a panel. Nine fear the beer. Eti Posse. Oh Lord, let your peace reign. Jumadi Apostle Doctor Solomon Odro. Any a sitting upon Pai Boy Den Den. And I just saw Brady see one more my Ghana. Catch your web busy for. Na Breno Swa. Yen sorry ni more my Ghana. Fre. Zero two four two one four one seven zero seven. A sitting upon Pai Boy Den Den. A just see a two. Den 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 Den. God bless you. Thank you for staying with me. You know, as we are doing this job, we need sponsors. If you have a product you want us to sponsor, I do adverts for you, please come on board. Let's do it together. This is God's work. The numbers to call is on the screen 055 or 02091 Just call. The letter you can also give to support the real woman in me. It will be very welcome. Thank you so much. As I was talking, I want to end. I want to pray with all of you. But I want you to remember this. Be careful who you are slaying. Be careful whose thing you are taking. Be careful who you are dealing with. Don't be in a rush. Don't let the world push you to where you can't fit in. The position you want to take. You may be enjoying today, but if it's not yours, definitely it will be taken away from you. Be careful who you talk to. Be careful those who are convincing you. Be careful those who are healing you. Be careful how you treat your wife, how you treat your husband, vice versa. It goes to everybody. Whatever you do today, you reap it tomorrow. Be careful somebody's husband you are taken. Be careful the man you have slept with or you are sleeping with. Be careful. Be careful where you get your car, where you get your property, where you get your money from. Be careful. The things you do behind, be very careful. Because judgment is awaiting all of us. I don't know. If your marriage is being taken away from you, if you feel depressed, if you feel left out, and you want us to pray, let's do it together. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for this opportunity. I thank you for today. I dedicate my life to you. I have sinned against you. I am a sinner. But I run back to you, pleading for your mercy. Give me a place, Lord. Wash me and cleanse me. Empower me, Lord. Give me strength to stand and not to run away from you. For I don't mind waiting. Waiting upon you. I'm waiting for that door to open. Marital door to open. Financial door to open. I don't mind waiting. No matter what will happen in my life, I'm not going to leave you, Jehovah. I want to hold on to you. Be my strength. Be my Lord. Help me. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have said this, you are blessed. You know, you can go to YouTube and subscribe. Reverend Dr. Charlotte Drew. Instagram, The Real Woman Me, underscore. Facebook, The Real Woman Me. I want you to come sponsor, come on board. Let's partnership and do the show together. You can just call this nice. 55 2369 503 or 020 or 020919-854. Remember, if you want to take a photo, video for your naming ceremony, for birthdays, for weddings, for burial, anything you want to take, please get to Rock Media. The numbers are on the screen. Go to YouTube Rock Media, Facebook Rock Media. If you want to do your, your music, you, you, you are a singer and you, you want to record, but your finances is not so strong. I'm telling you, Rock Media is very affordable. Just call Rock Media for your weddings, your burial, your everything you want when it comes to media. Call Rock Media. With Rock Media, they are the best. Thank you so much for staying with me. Same time Monday, 10 to 10.30 is the Real Woman Image Show. God bless you. Have a beautiful night. Bye.